Hey everybody, how's it going? You know, I wasn't going to do a video on this. Changing the uh, the welding end on my welder. But I had it tucked in here so hard that I had to undo this shelf to lift it up. To slide my bottom welder out because there's a lip here in the cart which I never thought of. And I would never be able to change, you know, the wire. So this is just my flux core welder. I mean, I don't have any gas. Um, my Eastwood 175, I've got the tank for that one. And I've got my tank just for aluminum. So I have a spool gun for this, for this machine here. So, I mean, when I got to work on this one, I mean, it's, you can see everything's right there. And I have, uh, I've already got a huge spool right here for it when I'm ready to change that one out. But... And then I got a plasma cutter, a cheapy eBay special, but it works freaking awesome. So, I was welding with this last time. Something jammed up on it. And, I, I don't know, I thought I kinked the cable. So, here's my old one. I mean, the tip was, tip was stuck in there. I got welded over. And, I mean, it's, it's old anyways. I mean, it's old as a machine. So, once I pulled it out... This is what I found. Look at that. The wire got jammed coming in. So it got jammed right in there. So when the wire came, feeds from here, it comes through the rollers, which I'm going to have to feed it through in a minute. It got jammed up in here somewhere. Now, if you ever have to change these, cut the wire, put a clamp on it so this thing doesn't unspool and go crazy on you. And you have to undo this wing nut right here. Just undo this little wing nut. And once you cut the wire, it'll slide out. Then you have to undo the trigger wires, which is right here. It's the only two terminals in there. Now, the new one I got came with these on the ends. Which are too big. They wouldn't, they wouldn't fit into the slots there. So I had to push the clip down and slide these off. So these now go in my garbage can. Right there. So, if I did a little more investigating, I would have saved myself some money. But, I mean, this, this one's kind of seen better days anyway. So, that, I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw it off to the side. Pull the wire out of it. Throw it off to the side. But, yeah. So, now I can turn this on. Feed the wire through. And, uh, I got a brand new end on it. And I kind of like it because it kind of matches matches the Lincoln now so this looks kind of spiffy I guess so yeah I wasn't going to do a video on this until I seen my stupid problem that would have saved me 60 bucks 50 bucks I don't remember what the hell it was but yep so that one little set screw right there catches right in this groove on the end the little set screw goes in there and still allows you to turn this if you're welding but and that's it. It's pretty uh, pretty cut and dry. Two little wires. And that's it. I didn't think it'd be a big deal, but now I'm home, I can get some of this crap done that I've been putting off. So there you go. If you got to change the new end to your MIG welder, it's two seconds and it's over. All right. That's my excitement of the day. Have a good one.